All right, y'all, we're on a Tim adventure today. It's Tim and Tammy time, but we're doing a Tim adventure today. So this is all about Tim. This is his idea. This is where he wants to go. And <laughs> you can't hear him, but he's saying it ain't about me. Okay. We're at Heritage Park, and for some reason, there's still no water. But the little girl's here, and she's drinking Coca-Cola. Because this right here is a statue of Dr. Pemberton. And he is the man who invented Coca-Cola. He was a pharmacist. And right here, and I've never paid attention to this. I've been over here quite a few times, and I've never paid attention to this. Look at that. His medicine bottle and his books and his compounding. That's really cool. And he's sitting there, looks like a prescription pad, but he's taking notes. <clears throat> and I think what I read is that his son sold the formula for Coca-Cola for $1,675. Well, he was alive and he allowed his son to do it, but I think it was his son who talked him into it. So yeah, after I said this was a Tim venture, and then he ran away from me because I said that, I've been the one doing all the talking. Little public library. It is. Here, take the camera because this is a Tim venture. No, it's not a Tim venture. <laughs> But if, if, if water had been in the park, it'd be a Tim venture. I told you, you ran away. I'm going over there to take a look at that fountain. You go right ahead. I don't see what you did. At least there's some moving water somewhere around here. How can you swim? There's no water. Hmm. This park is named for Colonel W.L. Salisbury. Soldier, editor, banker, distinguished citizen of Columbus. Well, that's a museum. It's a museum. No, you got a call. But it says for self guided to which stand the gate. This was Dr. Pemberton's country home. Oh, right there? Yeah. Stalls Engineering now. You know, Dr. Pemberton was not actually from Columbus. He was a really well known. I think he was a doctor in Atlanta. This was originally located in the country four miles north of Columbus. It was moved. This was his country home though. It was moved here. And we will go see Dr. Pemberton's house on 7th Street. Oh, look at there.
Roslyn Carter Butterfly Trail, y'all. Oh, in case you don't know what this is. It's a whale. It's a whale. Uh-huh. It says so. Well, good. Right on the side. This is a drying house. Yeah. And look at the birdhouse. That's what I said. Oh, look. A clock. Oh, it is. It is. It's got the time on there, too, but the plants have a shadow of it. What is this right here? It's brick. <laughs> well, uh. it is brick. Sometimes. We can be impatient. Dang it, people have put trash in this, in this thing. Yeah, it's I just don't give no hopes. And that's the, that's the coal saw down here, I'm sure. There's a kitty cat in the middle of the road out here. Not in the road, but in between the road. I did not know. I saw that sign that said trail, but that was the Rosalind Carter. Carter. Butterfly trail. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. That goes this way. Kitty cat's got a bell around his neck. There's two more signs this way at least. This is Woodruff Farm. And you know, Woodruff Farm Road's way outside of Columbus. This one was moved here too. I think somebody lives in this one. I'm sure they do. Don't take too much of that, but. You can take the house. Take the house, yeah. Farmhouse and see it right there. This is 700 Broadway. What is this? What's significant about 700 Broadway? Besides the dogs, look at the dogs laying there. There's a kitty cat laying over on the cat. There he is. This one has a, somebody living in it as well. This has something to do with Pemberton's cottage too. Actually, that was his country house. This is his house over here on 7th Street right here. This is the one I was talking about. This is where he actually lived. I wonder where his drugstore was because he had a drugstore too. Look at that tree and all them tumors on it. Is that the Pemberton cottage? Yeah. Downtown Columbus or Uptown Columbus, filled with a lot of history and beautiful homes. It is. It is. And beautiful trees. Okay. It's a fountain. <laughs> the dirty water. Maybe that's what they're waiting on. They're waiting for a way to clean the water out because this is the Chattahoochee Promenade. Ooh. Big word. There actually used to be trains on these tracks. Did you have a point? <laughs> Did 
No, they got a plaque right in the middle. I know, I couldn't read it right there. They got plaques all around. I can't read them either because they're finding bushes in front of the plaques. Somewhere over yonder, y'all, is the river. <laughs> yeah, you can, the river walks right down below us. Now, see, sometimes, occasionally, they have events down here. And there's apt to be stuff all up and down this sidewalk. Also along the river walk as well. But one of these days, maybe when they start back having events, we will come and record it. Right now, huh, look both ways. Railroad crossing, look both ways. Another gazebo. This place is just ended up with gazebos. Fort Benning? Where, this is, yeah. Battle of Columbus, there you go. Battle of Columbus? We did a video on that earlier. We actually did a video on the Dillingham Free Bridge. And that's where the Union troops crossed. There's the river right there, y'all. And there's some canines. We got some canines here. Canines, I know. Well, it's a Tim adventure. And what does Tim do? Yeah, that's a long hill right there. I'd stop before I got to the water though. Oh, is it time at the bridge? Okay. Dillingham Street Bridge. Go watch the video. Yeah. History and haunting of the Dillingham Street Bridge. Oh, my rainy. Whoa. That is a... Standing and I'm backing up. Hey, oh, look here. Now, this is the one I was telling you about, Blind Tom. That's a train sitting up on top of the hill over there. I'm pretty sure that's a train sitting up on top of the hill over there. You see where I'm coming up? I can't see because the sun is okay, terribly. Can't, can't. Hold on a second. Get down there on the other car. On the other, yeah, there you go. I don't think it's a train. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm still pretty sure it's a train car. Stuck way up high. It is. Is there a track up there? I don't even know. Is it a trailer? Is it a house? Okay, never mind. We don't know what it is, people. Water. All right, y'all. I got the camera now, even though it's a Tim Venture. <laughs> Here, the steps leading down to the Chattahoochee River and to the Riverwalk. And now, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to say, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Sun's right in my eyes. I know my we eyes are just We appreciate you very much. Thank you, and we love you all. 
Sorry, I interrupted. You got it? Yeah. There we go. There's the rest of the train that we see high up on the hill. I didn't even know there's a track over there. I didn't pay attention to that bell. How did we not pay attention to that bell? There's a bell here, y'all. Before we get gone. That we come up to. Yeah, we didn't pay much attention. How did we miss that huge bell? Ever seen a bell in a gazebo? We got one here in Columbus. There it is, right there. I'll tell you what. They got the thing on there where they don't have the rope on there. But they took the rope down because people rang the bell. This you know what? We we were so focused on that, that thing bottom that plaque. There. And there is a plaque right here, but it's got a plant in front, of it. Outside, in front of it. And we didn't pay attention to the bell there. How about that? How cool is that? Wow. It's lit up at night too. They got a couple of lights on it. They do. There's bees up in there too. Y'all, we could continue this walk. The sidewalk goes all the way down, but it's late, so bye.